The Myers Park High School student met a stranger in a chat room and he convinced her to leave home. I first met Michael when I was 15 in a pro-anorexia chat room. He was pretending he had a disorder. He was like, well, I could be your daddy. And that's our opening conversation. He had me post nude photos on my Tumblr of child porn and then delete them quickly so that he could save them. After about three days, he kept talking about how much he loved runaways and loved taking care of them and treating them like princesses. He manipulated me heavily. He convinced me that if I wanted to be happy, I had to run away and that I had no life outside of him. He insinuated there would be a consensual BDSM relationship. It was constant pressure. He basically set the stage for me being like, well, I could run away. I gave him my address and he looked at maps and chose a place for us to meet. I did bail on the plan. It was raining. I didn't want to walk three miles in the rain. He was very upset. He basically insinuated that he was risking his life for this and that me bailing was showing that I had no respect for him and his life. He convinced me to try again two days later and if I didn't do it, I would never speak to him again. The thought of never speaking to him again terrified me. That night, I ran late to our meeting. I didn't know where I was going. I didn't know his name. I didn't know anything about him. I had never seen him. I knew the color car that he drove and the road that he would be on, and that's all he gave me. Honestly, I don't know what made me go through with it. How early on did you make the decision? Did you know in your mind I'm going to meet this person. Was this a last minute decision or last something minute. that you contemplated last along? Last minute. It was like, it was kind of a funny joke at first. It was like a, ha ha, this is fun to fantasize about. Like, I'm not actually gonna do it. What pushed you over that line at the very end? He pushed me really, really, really hard and I just was impulsive and I was like, okay. Once you were there, there's a tendency to try and convince them that the world they left doesn't care about them anymore. Parents don't want you back. They don't care about you. Everybody's moved on. You're just lost, isolated, and this is the only place you have to be. Did you hear that from him? 100% immediately. Almost immediately. It was like, I bet they're happier with you gone. Um, two weeks in, he was like, I don't see any media presence about you. Stuff like that, like nobody cares that you're gone. And he made sure to uh, show me statistics on arrested runaways and um, insinuate and heavily relay to me that I would be institutionalized or arrested if I left. Did that get to you? I believed it wholeheartedly from the beginning. Once you started believing that, did you think you would ever get out of there? Or did you think that was your life? I kind of knew from the beginning that I was stuck. I, I didn't know the area I was in. I didn't have any contacts. He kept his phone completely locked and hidden away from me. He kept his computer locked. There was no way for me to get help. And I knew that immediately. Mm -hmm. How did you get on the internet eventually? He, he had like a trust system where after about a year I was trusted with a, with a device that didn't have internet. Mm -hmm. It was locked and I'm, I'm resourceful. I know how technology works. So I factory data reset it and deleted the app locker that was locking the internet and then I just connected it to mobile data. 